Hey everybody, Graham here. Welcome to LRRMTG, and this is the Arena Open. If you are watching this video, that means that at least this was interesting. I'm not going to put up a 01 or a 11 dirt out, unless it's a really fascinating game of Magic the Gathering. So let's let's get into it. Let's open our pool and see what we get. Ooh, fancy foreign collects. Very nice. Here we go. Okay, interesting group of cards. Sort of all over the map. I like Draugr Necromancer, I like Arnie. Colvory is fine. What's this do again? Creatures you control are every creature type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. So everything is shapeshifters. Or everything has changeling. And I can make shapeshifters. Okay. When champion enters the battlefield, search your library for a... Or, oh, and or graveyard for a rune. Okay, that's not thrilling. And the Raven's Warning. Make a bird. Gain two life. Whenever one or more creatures you control flying deal combat damage to a player, look at their hand, draw a card. And you can put a card you own from outside the game on top of your library. Really? Interesting. All right. Well, let's see what we got going on over here. Ooh, gems. All right, first thing I'm going to do is go right to the end and see what I have in the way of colorless and multicolored cards and lands. Shimmer to Veil, you love to see it. Three Seasons is fine. Mirror Lake I like. Treeline Armory is fine. Not Slumber Mounds, all right. Ooh, Binding the Old Gods, Carter's Vicious Return, Fjord, Frostpire, Great Hall of Starnheim, Glacial Floodplain. We could, this could potentially be five color shenanigans, which is not a bad idea. Um, green, Double Packmate, Spirit, I don't mind Grizzled Outrider, Sculptor, Path to the World Tree. Oh, now I really want to do five color shenaniganery. In red, we've got Frostbite, Bro Arnie Broken Bow, Demon Bolt, Reinforcements, Squash, Double Doomscar <laughs> Titan, Black, Return Upon the Tide, Feed, Double Feed the Serpent, Draugr Necromancer, Poison the Cup, Raise the Draugr, oh man. Uh, Augury, Raven, three Mist Walkers. Got a Bound in Gold. So, a little peek behind the curtain here, folks. This is my second run at the uh, Open today, and my first had just the worst pool. Like, the worst pool. I tried my best. It was 01 Tearsville. It was just very, very bad. And this is better than it in every possible axis. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Let's take a look at green to start with. So pretty good start to green black, honestly. Maybe could use some more three drops, but like just going, just, just accepting, yeah, we're just going to go straight green black would not be terrible. Not as many snow covered sources or snow sources in general as maybe I would like if that were the case. Would probably have to just run an off-color one just to get more land, but not the worst. Just curious what black red looks like. And it looks pretty good. Dang, this is way more choice than I had before. This looks like exciting, honestly, and quick. Well, actually no. Because we shouldn't run those priests. But this is an awful lot of removal and creatures. Well th eh, or is it? It says there's only ten creatures. Still, double Doomscar. I don't know. This seems like a deck that could really surprise with some wins. I guess there's not as many snow sources as you would want f for running Draugr Necromancer, but, you know, there's a few. Snow Covered Swamp. I could run Volatile Fjord and Shimmer Drift Veil. So, you know, there's three anyway. Uh, Grim Draugr, I suppose, is not, you know, the world's most exciting card in that instance, but it doesn't seem bad overall. We could run Dusk Wielder. Like, there you go. There's a just a aggressive little package. I kind of dig that. But there's so much... <laughs> gosh, this is... Uh, there's so many so many ways you could build. Alright, the blue is about three Mist Walkers and a Raven Deep, so not spectacular. There's cards in here that are playable, but nothing that I'm like, ooh, I really want to go into blue for this, apart from like, I don't know, maybe like that, maybe? So, I'm not crying at the lack of blue. White is similar. There's some very good, very playable cards in here, but nothing that's really tempting me over in that direction. I don't know how good Maskwood Nexus is. 
So there's that. I've never played with it or against it. And it might be good and it might be mediocre. Let's throw all the snow land in and see what we end up with. So that's that's that. And then if we go, let's see here. So in green, we want we would want to have Vandal, Path to the World Tree, let's say one Sculptor. I kind of like the Recluse just to like trade with Flyers, both pack mates, Spirit for sure. Kalvori is, I mean, only kind of medium. I don't actually know that I have legendary creatures that I want to search up with Kalvori, so let's just sort of start there. Um, what spell lands are we more interested in? Let Yara Mirror Lake, Great Hall of Starnheim. I don't mind the Notvold Slumber Mound. I'm not thrilled about Axe Guard Armory. Um, let's throw Binding in there. What do we have from Black? Both Feeds, Draugr Necromancer, Poison the Cup. If we're running all the snow, then we want both Priests. Let's throw the blue cards in here. From Red, we'll do Squash, Frostbite, Demon Bolt, Arnie. I guess Carter's Vicious Return. So that's 40. What do we got? 14 creatures, 9 non-creatures. That's a heck of a pile, hey. So the problem here is that we've got... Well, okay, so Treeline and Floodplain are just tapped lands. The only land in here that's like really like dead dead is Snow-Covered Plains, but I do kind of just want snow, and I can use the white for Great Hall. This, you know, this doesn't look bad. <laughs> This looks maybe kind of all over the map. Like maybe Arnie isn't the kind of card that I want in this deck necessarily, but this doesn't look bad. Do we have enough blue sources for these Mistwalkers, actually? that That's a concern. One, two, three. And I guess the Veil. Three, four. Yeah, that's... Oof. Hmm. Are we ever casting Squash for cheap? Yes, because we have Mistwalkers, which are giants. And we have Mass Vandal, which is a giant. So there's that's that's good. Maybe we don't want Arnie. Maybe we want something else in the other colors. Maybe we're less red. Maybe we're just bringing red in for the removal spells, in which I count Carter's Vicious Return. It's removal and reanimation. Yeah, what would be good to run over Arnie? I mean, <laughs> speaking of reanimation, maybe just raise the Draugr. I guess I quite like Return Upon the Tide. Not that we have... We've got like one elf... But more, more, more just getting creatures back from the graveyard. I don't mind having Return Upon the Tide. Having cut Arnie, Kulvori is now less useful. Just run this, like, 5-mana five 5-5. Five five, just, like, <laughs> maybe that's the sort of thing we want to do. It makes the mana more consistent. But how many green sources do we have now? What are you suggesting? 1, 2, 3, 4. That can't... Oh, 5. Still, that can't be good. I don't know that... Hailstorm Valkyrie is what we want to be doing. Again, seven snow sources is maybe okay. We could also, again, just be that red-black deck that we looked at. I'm going to look at that one one more time. I guess this is that build. Wait, how did I go to 11 creatures now? What did I do differently last time? Probably name Berserkers off Bloodline Predator. Pretender, rather. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, eight Berserkers. Man, I wish I had the other, the Berserker saga, the Blood Sky Massacre. This deck doesn't seem terrible. I really can't tell which option is better. I don't think I can run Hailstorm Valkyrie just as a 2-2 flyer for four over, like, Dogged Pursuit, but maybe I do. All right, I think I'm going with this one. I've thought about it, and the other one definitely seems more fun, and I'm not as confident in it. And you should have more confidence in the deck that you're running than I do in that other deck. In my ability to to run it, I guess, is more the, the relevant part. If I had, like, a land that was better at it, I would probably splash Binding the Old Gods. I don't know. Oh, I want to run that other deck so badly. But I think just keeping on the pressure backed up with removal is going to be going to be what I want to do here. Only 11 creatures. It feels so weird. But there's a lot of, <laughs> of the cards that aren't creatures. They're mostly removal. So... Frostbite, which is basically a shock in this deck. Poison the Cup. Demon Bolt. Run amok to an extent. Carter here. Double Feed the Serpent. Squash. Yeah. This is alright. I'm not going to run Volatile Fjord as just a tap land. I've already got one of those, and I think that's probably what I want to do. Alright, let's try it. 
And I do like being on the play with this deck, so let's do that. Um, yeah, this seems fine. This is a. This looks like a fairly normal. This doesn't look like a Kaldheim opening hand. This looks like a normal <laughs> Magic: The Gathering hand of hand of cards. I don't even know if we have anything we want to discard when we play Immersturm Raider on two. I forgot I had this tree. Hello, tree. Uh, hello. But we do want to land, actually. We do really need a third land. So I'm going to pitch Grim Draugr, because we don't even have a snow source to give it menace. Ah, okay, so that's how this deck loses. Cool, 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 cool. All right, thank you. Uh, we're just going to slam. And we're going to Bloodline Pretender, and we're going to name Berserker. Nothing else to do, so we are just going to pop that and slam. Ensure that no value is acquired. That is interesting. Alright, given the state of things now, I'm just going to play Dogged Pursuit. Because I want to be able to kill a creature with Carter's Vicious Return. And we, we this is all just removal and pushing damage through, so... That seemed like a fine turn to do this. Um, so let's see here. This is a Berserker. Okay, so if I play that, Bloodline Pretender becomes a 3-3. But then that gives them obvious blocks with Mentor on Pretender and Elf on the 2-1. And then I don't have a good run amok target. But that might just be the best bet. Probably save the Bloodline Pretender because it'll be larger. And then next turn we can return Popping Dusk Wielder to kill something. Yeah, that's, I think that's better. Yeah, let's do it. I could just attack with Bloodline Pretender. Oh, well, maybe that's better. I, I, I had it in my head that I'm like, I must always be attacking all the time. But no, that's not the case. All right, now they're at four. Okay, so now they're actually dead not even to combat damage because they're. if I draw a land... Okay, cool. If, they're, if I drew a land, I could boast the Dusk Wielder and Carter's return to their face. So, okay, strong start. I like how the deck performed there. But that was one game, and the opponent definitely seemed like they were stumbling slightly, so let's see how it continues. Opponent kept seven. I like... Oh, I have a lot of stuff to foretell here. Uh, yeah, this seems great. Let's keep it. I think we'll start by foretelling the reinforcements. I guess actually I should just play cavalry on two. Uh, well, now it's less relevant, because I can't really attack through that anyway. So... Uh, yeah, this is still fine. Next turn we will foretell and... Frostbite. Man, turn two gets really clogged up in this format. That card's good. Alright, we'll just foretell the cavalry and pass. And the next turn probably just double foretell. Does it give them haste? The creatures gain haste. Oh, wow, okay. So if we double foretell Doomscar Titans, then on turn five, we can cast reinforcements and one of the Titans. That's pretty fresh. Oh, it's five mana to play one of them. Graven lore. Wowee, alright, so they get to draw a bunch of cards. I thought it was f four mana. Why did I think it was... <laughs> ig ig ignore what I said. That was obviously uh, foolhardy. I would need six mana to cast... Seven mana to cast um, both of these in one turn. Yes, you may continue hitting me with your 2-3. Alright, what are we doing here? Ah, oh, Thought Thief. Sure. Whose library are we looking at today? Your own. That seems reasonable. And they left it on top is, I guess, what happened. Alright, so it's sort of like Scry. It's fine. Um, Alright, so let's... Uh, I think... I think I want to just get these reinforcements down. And pass. And then probably pop something like the Draugr Thought Thief, this turn, and then next turn, drop a Doomscar Titan, and then the next turn, drop another Doomscar Titan. I think, I think that's the plan. That seems like a pretty good plan. Oh, this seems like a fine time to do this. Solid use of mana. That many cards in hand, and that's what they spent their turn doing. 
Oh, please. Ter terrific. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so they get easy trades here with Frost Augur and Harbinger for the two ones, but I still think the plan is Titan. Mostly because I have another one. I'd be surprised if this isn't double trades for my Berserker tokens here. Because they don't even get value off the Frost Augur this turn. There it is. All right, now I'm, I am actually going to play this land because I don't think they have Skull Raid in these colors, and that potentially means if I draw another land, that I might just be playing Emmer Storm Raider and Doom Scar Titan. Oof! Oof! All right. Do you dare attack? No. Okay. Hoggy Mob. Um. Okay. I think, given that, I think I'm just going to play Hoggy Mob. I don't think, because I don't have enough mana to boast it this turn, or else I would be very tempted to give it haste and attack. But I'm just going to play Hoggy Mob and hold, because I could give it haste and slam, but they have a pretty easy trade there. And then next turn, another Titan. Seems fine. I have to be aware of their Faceless Haven. Always be aware of your opponent's Faceless Haven. Okay. Boreal Outrider is scary. Especially if they have a follow-up with another creature. Ugh. Oh, that's bad. Do I have attacks? I don't think I do. Uh, I think... So I could play both of these and start setting up for... Big Doomscar. If I got one card in hand... I kind of like just Raider hold up feed? Ah, no. Now let's just flood the board. I do this. I'm not going to I'm not going to cycle. Oh boy, big berg. They're probably going to attack this turn at least with Mistwalker. Okay. This is fine. Okay, so if I do this... Alright, so... See, now I want to wait. Um, yeah, because then I can Doomscar and Hoggy Mob or give Grim Draugr Menace, which is probably pretty good. So, yeah, I think I just pass here. I'm going to feed something. Depends on how they attack. Because I might just take my Mistwalker lumps and feed a blocker. Alright, so it looks like they're just going for as much aggression in the air as they can, which I respect. Oh, interesting, they didn't pump it because they want to keep up Faceless Haven. Alright, well they're still going to have Faceless Haven, but I think we're just going to feed the Bergstrider. We are also down at 8 now, but I think this will work out okay, as long as they don't have a counterspell. Uh, wait, no, they can't. Uh, they could have Disdainful Stroke. Well, let's find out. Please don't. Good. Now, the real question is, do I boast Grim... Do I um, give Grim Draugr Menace, or do I boast Hoggy Mob? I think I boast Hoggy Mob, because it kills their 1-1. One, one. I don't think they're just dead here, but... This has to be good for me, he said, hopefully. I hope I haven't just miscounted and put myself dead to the Mistwalker. Like, they can live here, but I don't think they can live and eight me on the crackback. Because Mistwalker can't eight on its, on its own. Certainly not with the mana they have. Alright, so with these blocks, they live and everyone loses most of their creatures, but now they're down at three. Although now, Doomscar can't actually get through their Mistwalker, nor can it get through these fresh blockers. Uh, okay. We might be going to a game three. I have some stuff I could draw. If I could draw a Carter's Vicious Return, that would just kill them. Just land, though. Kind of sucks. Uh, okay. Well, I think I'm dead, then. I guess. Hmm. 
Guess that Mistwalker was a bigger problem than possibly I gave it credit. Not that I didn't think it was a big problem. Because with the gold pick on it, I think it's just lethal here. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, that's a shame. There was probably a different way I could have done that. I don't think giving Grimdragger Menace is any better than killing their 1-1, one because -one, it still just means a creature... It still means activating that ability trades for that 1-1 one -one in the broad sense. Alright, let's play. Oh, see, that's not good. Uh, yeah, alright. This is, this is okay. I mean, as sixes go, this is fine. I don't know why my opponent said hello after I chose the mulligan. That's perhaps a little rude, but... Well, that's, that's nice, drawing a two-drop there. All right, don't mind the Harbinger, because we've got Arnie Broken Brow here. Just gonna slam on in. Well, that's given me a great Carter's Vicious Return target, which we are going to use on the Harbinger, because it's got the higher toughness, and it lets Axe Guard Cavalry get through. So, annoyingly, we'll be discarding Feed... or sorry, Run Amok, not Feed the Serpent. Even though we can't cast Feed the Serpent yet. Yeah. Maybe it is Feed the Serpent, because there's a second one in my deck and I have no idea when I'm going to draw... <laughs> when I'm going to draw a second Black Source. Whereas Run Amok could actually punch damage through, especially when we reanimate Arnie next turn. Ugh. Ugh. That feels bad. Well, this turn we're just going to wings up the cavalry and slam for three in the air. Discarded Lindworm, which makes sense because they also can't cast it, but real bummer. Oof! Okay. Oh! Didn't cast Bergstrider with, with Snow there? How did that... Oh, okay, no, they cast its, its ability. So, Cavalry's not going to untap next turn, but it, they didn't cast it with Blue Snow, so it didn't get bigger from the Outrider. Uh, this is fine. I guess we actually just move the Raven Wings over, because we got nothing else to do. Uh, I mean, I guess there's something to giving them an option. <sighs> I'm gonna run amok now, because that's their only flying blocker. And this puts them dead in the air to either creature, with the wings on it. And I don't think it's the same going the other way. Okay. Uh, that seems pretty sweet. Let's do that. Glad I held that land. I don't actually know why I held that land, but now I'm glad I did. Oh, fun. Arnie gets in. All right. Sweet. All right, there's one. <laughs> Just need three more like that. Round two, let's play. This seems like one of them hands again. You love to see it. Get out there. Opponent also playing red, a person of culture, I see. Red-green at initial appearances. Discarding Yorn. Discarding Yorn. Bold. Well, they have a 2-1, and I have two 2-1s, so in the battle of the 2-1s, I am winning. And they're about to have zero 2-1s if they... Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna kill that instead.
that thing's just I, it's there's too many there's too much potential value for them there um given that I have nothing better to do with my mana this turn well I mean does raven wings is that a better use of my mana probably yeah I think it is we're just going to equip up and slam with both and if they want to trade for the token they are welcome to do so now I control the battlefield with the power of mana efficiency. So this is going slowly for them, which is just fine for me. And I guess, oh, uh, sure, we'll play the one that with lifelink, why not? I presume this turn they're gonna play a creature. Everything I have dies to Skemfar Elder Hall, so that's fine. They're also a ways off of casting it. They need one more mana and it has to be specifically black. Because that thing costs five mana plus the Elder Hall itself. So I'm not worried about that right away. Tyvar Kel is... okay. Alright, so that's going to take a turn off of me slamming their face to bop Tyvar. Because this does not have reach. So... Uh, yeah. I'm just going to go to combat and we're going to... Boop the Planeswalker and play a 4-4 and pass. Forgot we had Draugr Necromancer in the deck. Oh, Dread Rider. That's exciting. Cool. All right, so we're going to Veil on black. I guess we... Yeah. yeah, all right. So I was considering just putting Raven Wings over the Necromancer to hit for five. But it's probably better to just hit for three and develop the board. So let's do that. Ah, okay. Sure. So I can't assume they're attacking. I have to believe that's a block. A blocker, all right. Uh, ooh, Demon Bolt's fun. So we feed Dread Rider, which sadly exiles it, so I don't get Draugr Necromancer value from it. And then we slam... Oh, we get to hit with Necromancer, too, because they only have four power or three power on the board. Uh, yes, this seems fine. Don't get to foretell Demon Bolt, but let's just keep the slam train running. So that gets in, that gets in. I guess I'm comfortable trading Grim Draugr for their Dusk Wielder. So that gets in. Because then I get a Dusk Wielder. Hmm. Well, that uh, is unexpected. When it dies, it deals 7 damage to a creature an opponent controls chosen at random. I don't love it. So let's see, what if I got 6 mana... So, one, two, three, so is it? Alright, so we're gonna move Raven Wings to. Because it doesn't fly yet. We're gonna move Raven Wings to the, this thing. We're going to slam for five. What happens if I attack with all of them? They block three, they take two, and go to one. Is that better? That's probably better. Yeah, I guess that is better. And then, depending on how they block, I could also actually just Demon Bolt it. They hit one of my Doomscar Titans. I hit one of their Doomscar Titans <laughs> and a Feed the Serpent. So yeah, let's actually just do this. Let's play this just in case it's the Necromancer that they end up killing and then just Demon Bolt this into Heart Giant and they'll get to kill one of these things. Oh, they don't because it gets exiled, so it doesn't actually die. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. I didn't even realize. Okay. Sure, right, it's a replacement effect. Keen. Next game. All right. Game two. This, uh, yeah, this is a hand. I, yeah, I dig it. We actually have a curve and everything. Opponent mulliganed. And, uh, not ashamed to say I'm okay with that. So turn one, Dusk Wielder. Turn two, Foretell Doomscar. Turn three, Arnie Broken Brow. Turn four, Necromancer. Turn five, Tight. That's the plan. Oh, okay. So we don't get to attack, but that's fine. 
being allowed to attack with my Dusk Wielder would, you know, that's just greedy. Alright, I'm fine with this. Yeah, we're gonna get Arnie out there. Arnie's trundling in. And hits for three. Oh, shoot. Okay. Now, this time I don't have nearly as clean of a removal on Tyvar Kell, unless I top deck up. No. <laughs> I was just gonna say, unless I top deck a, um, a uh, swamp. That would have been cool. Um, well, I, I hate this. I guess I attack... Yeah, I guess I attack Tyvar and trade three threes. They've only got two cards left in hand. Yeah, I just... Hey, come on, go. There we go. Trade you three threes. A land there would have been a very good draw. Sadly. Sadly, that did not happen. I am going to need them to not play creatures for the next several turns, though. <laughs> so, if that's uh, accommodatable by you, opponent, I would appreciate that. No, stop. Oh! Well, that works. I'll take it. Okay, that also works. So we're gonna... I could try killing Tyvar Kell with damage, but I think I just... I think I just exile it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna exile it. That's weird, but I'll take it. Okay, I'm just gonna get this planeswalker out of here. All right, so now it's my Dusk Wielder versus your Dogged Pursuit. But I have other cards in hand that may be relevant to this discussion. Oh, Yorn. All right. Yorn will eventually... I was going to say Yorn will eventually be a problem. God, do I just kill Yorn? Yeah, probably. Only one card in hand. All right, please don't don't drop your bigger, scarier bomb somehow. Okay, they can't sacrifice anything. So that's fine. So I'm going to have to discard something, which is also fine. I guess I'll discard Raise the Draugr, because I've only got one target for it at the moment anyway, which is Arnie Broken Brow. And we've seen that Raven Wings uh, does fine in this situation. They discarded Lindy. Another Carter's Vicious Return. Okay, so I see the plan here. So they're going to hit Ravenous Lindworm next turn and make me very sad. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, with the double. So they're going to get Lindy on the first turn and they're going to get Guardian Gladewalker. And I have to see if we can race that. Boy, oh boy. All right, well, let's just flood the board as much as we can. Now I'm really hoping... So they get Lindworm back here. It's going to have a plus one, plus one counter and haste. And they gain four life. Oh, it makes it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, and I discard Coma's Faithful. Right, I forgot about the, the, the discard. So Squash doesn't even kill it. That's what scares me, is that Squash doesn't even kill it. Can I kill them faster? I don't think I can. Well, not with that. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, and then they're going to get that thing back. That's fine. Um, well, I guess what I do is I Raven Wings one of those. I slam with everybody else. And nothing else to do, so I'll boast here. And pass. Lindworm doesn't have Trample, so they get their Glade Walker back. Are they going to make that a 3-3? Then I will make it not be a creature. And if they attack... If they don't... Okay, they didn't kill... <laughs> they just passed. This is huge. This is potentially huge. Okay. Doomscar Titan comes down. That'll be 5-4. They block five. Then they take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then, okay, then that's lethal. 
right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus five. Yes. Oh, goodness. Boy, that was close. That was, that was a good game. Fair play to you, opponent. Holy moly. Well, that's due. Round three. And, uh, I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. I mean, it's a good three drop and a much better four. A better three drop now and a very good four drop. And I don't really think I can throw that back. Okay. Some blue foretelling shenanigans. Not being able to do anything on turn two, like anything, not even foretell, is rough in this format. So my opponent missed their third land, so I don't know. As long as this isn't saw it coming, I think we're all right. And it's not. Taste it. Now, bind the monster, take three, then I'll vicious return, and then I'll do another three. Oh boy. Okie dokie. Opponent is uh, having a rough go. Oof! That was not a real game one. Okay, kept a slow hand. Opponent inadvertently kept a slower one. So, ouch! All right, game two. I yeah, this is this is fine. This is awkward dogged pursuit, but other ones, this is this is okay. Turn one, Dusk Wielder. Turn two, Foretell, Doomscar Titan. And then hopefully start drawing some land. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy land over there from the opponent. Oh, no attacks from me. Okay, well, we're going to Foretell. Hopefully we get to draw a land at some point. Could be in trouble here. Might be in a position to be sacrificing Dusk Wielder to Carter's Vicious Return. That might just be the most useful thing that Dusk Wielder does. Oh no. Okay, I do need another land at some point. But in the meantime, I guess I will settle for a pair of two ones. I will make trades. Don't think I won't make trades. Sorry, what? Whenever a permanent you control becomes a target of spell or ability and opponent controls, you may draw a card. Yikes. Well, I'm still gonna make those trades I threatened to make. Land? Okay, that's... You're just making fun of me now. Uh, black, I suppose, because I have the double black for Feed the Serpent. Um... Run it plus three, that'll be four power, so that's not enough to kill it, so no attacks. Oh boy, oh boy. Yes. In comes the Battle Mammoth. So what we're looking at here is two very different, very quick games of Magic the Gathering. Oh, Lord Almighty, okay. I mean, we, I mean, we're not we're not dead just yet. I'm sorry, what just happened? Oh, they made another one because one wasn't enough, and I didn't draw instead of drawing a fourth land for my feed the serpent. I just drew a second feed the serpent. Is that is that what happened in this game of Magic the Gathering? Oh no! All right, well. Uh, I guess, uh, well, no, because it, oh, wait, is it attacking creature? Yeah, I guess it's attacking creature. I guess we just do this. Come on, block, I dare you. No? Darn it. Haha, -ha, now we're at 10. Oh, wait, we still die, don't we? So this is 13, so a 2, yeah, okay, then we're dead. All right, cool. Okay, game three. Let's have a real one that, that I win, please. Uh, yeah, this is fine. No cute little one drop, but that's okay, because we get a Fortel, and then we get Arnie, and we're going to get to do things. And there's our second black for whenever we draw 
one of our Feed the Serpents. This is great. This is great and good. Now we just need opponent to not draw a Battle Mammoth and then make a second Battle Mammoth. That's, that's what I would like to have happen. Also, that's probably enough land. Uh, deck, if you're listening, that's probably enough land to carry me through the rest of the game. Let's, uh, let's get spells now, please. Holy moly, alright. Well, given that, I guess we just do this. Oh, it's got reach, hey? Uh, yeah, alright. It's not exciting, but it's still a two-for-one. Aha, joke's on you. <sighs> yeah. Seems like they didn't chump. I, I would... I... Hmm. I don't know what's going on in their hand. I feel like that would have been an easy chump for me, but... Okie dokie. Narfi, cool. Alright, well now we just get to... fly... into Dogged Pursuit. And then unless they have an answer for Doomscar Titan right now, they are deceased? And knowing their deck, they probably do. Because they have a lot of cool stuff going on over there. They're mousing over it. Alright, Bergstrider will do it. That'll keep things locked down for a turn or two. Ooh, that's a frightening one. That is not helpful. Oh boy, are we just dead? No, they've only got two snow sources. So they can make Ascendant Spirit four, three power. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I think they're dead, actually. Yes, they are. They're dead thanks to Run Amok. Oof. Run Amok into Dogged Pursuit, and we get there. Oh, boy. Woof. That was close. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right. Three wins. Now we're on the bubble. Here we go. All right, let's play. Um, weird hand, but keepable. We got removal, we got this thing, so sure. Let's do it. Huh. I will say I am perfectly happy not making it further than this. I would love to day two this, but this has been good, honest magic, and I've been having a blast. Uh, all right, so we're going to... Yeah, we're going to foretell the Demon Bolt. I guess it didn't actually matter, because we're not going to cast it in the same turn. I was just trying to think, as like, well, what do we foretell so that we can have Demon Bolt up, but it doesn't really matter. We're not going to Demon Bolt a Pilfering Hawk anytime soon, so we're just going to foretell our old friend Doomscar here. Pass it on over. I'd like a couple creatures, though, because the opponent will be able to start generating some loot advantage here. I don't really feel like getting demon or demon bolting the hawk there. Okay. Do want again, we do we do want spells. Because I don't think Dogged Pursuit is gonna win this game on its own. Alright, tap land, more foretell. Well, we get to attack oh that's kind of funny. Uh well I mean you know, get in with the Doomscar Titan, I suppose. Worst, worst plays to have. Of course, they've got a bunch of land. They've got five cards in hand, two cards foretold. Like, they have a lot of stuff going on. But we do have two pieces of removal, so fingers crossed. Ah, they poisoned my cup. I hope they attack with Pilfering Hawk, and then I want to see the look on their face when I play the second Doomscar Titan. <laughs> Ooh, top, top. Main phase looting, discarding Shimmer Drift Veil, and foretelling another card. All right, well. <laughs> I mean, look. I didn't come here to not cast this card. 
And now they're at seven. I didn't want to demon bolt the pilfering hawk because I figured that they were going to be casting other creatures between then and now, and they have not. And if I had cast the pilfering hawk, or rather if I had demon bolted the pilfering hawk, we'd be at, I mean, I guess a little higher life total and they wouldn't have had slightly as much advantage, but I still don't think that's important. Ugh. Oh no! Wow, they got our dogged pursuit. Look at that. Good for them. Well, now they're down to two cards. Ugh. <laughs> God, this could really be going better. Uh, okay. Well, now they're down to two cards. Three cards. I want to believe that our draws are going to be better at pushing through than their draws. Oh no. If you control three or more creatures that share a creature type. Uh, yes, because these are all birds, so let's just kill that before that counter goes on. I don't think they need a 3-5. Did that counter the scry? Oh, neat. Oh, neat. Sure, we'll play Arnie. They don't have any great blocks on Arnie, so that's all good as far as I'm concerned. Arnie's boast doesn't do anything useful here. Greatest power among other creatures, yeah. So, oh, didn't even loot it. All right. Uh, man. All right. I don't even care about the 6-6. Six, six. I have Feed the Serpent. It's the four life that bothers me. Let's get that out of here. Uh, sure. Oh, so, you know, I, let me see if I, let me see if this works the way that I think it should. So we do that. And then we attack with both. It doesn't really matter, because I guess they sort of have to block Arnie. Oh, they're not going to. Okay, so I boast, and this should make Arnie's power four. It did! Look at that! Neat! So that got one more damage through than it would have if I put the Raven Wings on... Holy crap! Wow, that sucked. Scry three, huh? All right. I forgot I had this card in my deck. <laughs> uh, definitely have not seen Poison the Cup until now. Three top? Triple top? <laughs> With the scry? Oh no. Are they going to use Not Vold Slumber Mound? Oh no, they're just beholding some multi... They're going to draw those cards that they scry to the top. Oh no. Avalanche Caller. Oh. All right. Well, I guess I gotta kill that. Uh, yeah, you can come on through, that's fine. But yeah, Avalanche Caller will kill me in pretty quick hurry, so let's kill that and then we get to Scry. I mean... Yeah, it just does stuff. I guess we'll get the... Draugr? Well, actually, either of these is lethal too, so I guess we'll get that one first. Because then that's two creatures that they have to deal with. This is what's whenever you cast a spell, it seems to be five. Alright. They don't have the mana for disdainful stroke, so. Alright. So this is the other card they would have seen. Ascendant Spirit. Alright. Hold up. They've got one, two, three. Four. They've only got four, so they can put two into it to make it a two, three. They can't make it fly this turn. So, are we taking them to one here? No. All right, well, hopefully they don't see the line uh, that they definitely have to pop um, their Slumber Mound to kill Shimmer Drift Veil, vale, because otherwise I can give, give Grim Draugr Menace, because that's the only snow source that I have in play right now. Having now put that notion out into the world. Well, actually, no, because they can't slumber mound and pump up the Ascendant Spirit. They just don't have enough mana to do both. So, geez, fingers crossed, hey? This is close. I don't want to get too confident. But I feel... I mean, they have, they have a card in hand. Who knows what that card could be? Wow, that's real bad. Okay. 
Well, we drew this, so I guess we get to trade at least. All right, top decks, you first. <laughs> After you with the top deck, please. That's quite good. That's unfortunate. Svella's a problem. Do they have enough mana to just Svella right now? They sure do. Oh my god, they whiffed? What's this do again? You may cast a spell without paying his mana cost. Oh my god. I mean, hey, we also whiffed. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this game! Okay, so they saw that line finally. We have to tank a couple turns here. <sighs> I hate that I have to kill Svella, because otherwise they just get to keep free rolling their turn. And I gotta do it now before they untap. Or free rolling the thing. But, I mean, we can take several turns of hits from that thing. But we need something else. That's a big, huge problem. Okay. Oh, wait. Arnie is a Berserker, right? We can get Berserkers back? Yes, we can. Two creatures that share a type, please. Uh, Arnie and, I guess, Doomscar Titan for fun? I mean, Arnie's all we need here. But I guess we'll get Doomscar back, because Doomscar also has haste. But Arnie is the lethal threat here. Arnie. Arnie, you beautiful thing. You've fought trolls before, haven't you? Oh. <laughs> that was too close. My heart. Oh, God. All right. Next game. Well, this looks like a fine hand for civilized people. Let's keep it. Oh yeah, this guy. I forgot about that guy. Where have you been? Uh, sure. Ice Hide Troll. All right, Ice Hide Troll's gonna get annoying, but we're gonna start by just slamming with Arnie. Because I think it's unlikely that they keep up indestructible for the next several turns. So depending on what they do next turn, we might just... Oh, they, they did... Look, they did keep it up. That's cool. Um, okay. Well, in that case, we're going to attack. And if they go for that, then we Demon Bolt. And then play the Bloodline Pretender. And if they don't, then... What a waste of their turn. Sure, go to damage. Surprise! And this. And we'll say Berserker. Even though the next thing I'm going to cast is a... Zombie Cleric. Oh, it's also a giant. Nice, for very cheap squash. I like that. Double foretell. That's big. Um, yes. Let's slam. And let's play Draugr Necromancer. If they have Doomscar, that's pretty bad. I guess maybe Draugr Necromancer... Ah, no, I still think it's right to play it there. They certainly didn't show it to us in the first game, and we saw a lot of their deck. Bears of Lit Yara. Alright, so they get a 2 2 now, and it'll become a 4 4 later. And there goes our Bloodline Pretender. That's fine. Oh, that means we can't cast our Squash. That's a shame. Um, Any number of shapeshifters. Wow, so both of those are going to become huge? That's a big problem. Alright, well, no fear. Like, I guess they just take it. Cool. Alright. This seems fine. They're at five. Let's see what they do. We might be able to get there with Carter's Vicious Return. I'm, I love that they're not casting another creature here. Like, it seems pretty important that they're just... casting one of the best commons in the set. But it's not a creature. I said it's not a creature. Now, dare you attack. That's the real... no. Um, let's see here. Hmm, what do we do? So if we Carter's Vicious Return, 
we can pop them and take them to two. What's this do again? Choose up to one target creature or planeswalker. Each creature with power four or greater you control deals damage equal. Okay, so they're going to get to kill Dragor Necromancer probably, meaning sacrificing something to Carter here is just sort of putting me way back on board. Dwarven Reinforcements is a terrible use of my mana, so I guess this is just pass and feed something. That's rough. That was That's a rough spot to be in. Drawing a land for Doomscar Titan would have been an interesting attack. I don't know if it would have been good, but it would have been interesting. Yes, that happens and I can't stop it. I'm in a bit of a pickle here. This is going to be tough to get out of. Oh, right. Our old friend Ascendant Spirit. They've only got two snow mana for the moment, though. No blocks on that. Given that they only have the two mana, I'm actually going to get the Kin Seekers out of here. That Masked Vandal would have also been a potential because it can't actually block Doomscar, but... All right, so this turn, this turn's pretty easy. This turn is uh, scripted, as they say. That we're just gonna get lots of little friends on the board. And now we just hope that we get land for big dooms. They can't use Skemfar Elder Hall, and that would take their whole turn. They still don't have a third snow source to make Ascendant Spirit a 4-4. I don't know what they have foretold, but they're definitely taking a long time. Okay, so there's the third snow source for Ascendant Spirit, but that does sort of crimp some of their mana. I'm prepared to just, like, like, Doomscar throws a bunch of stuff away. Like, they have good blocks. Okay. They have good blocks, but is it enough? Something gets through. They've only got four blockers. One of these creatures gets through. They can't hit me for 16 on the crackback because one of the masked vandal probably and probably something else for doomscar has to die and then carters can dome them for three that's the plan that's the plan we're operating on here as long as this doesn't get countered uh, oh okay it didn't get countered we're going for it we're making the attempt let's go let me pass to attackers okay figure it out it's all it's all on you, opponent. Oh, so they have an answer for Doomscar, because this is lethal otherwise. Darn, I needed to get just two damage through. But this way it just leaves me with no creatures. Oh! This trades off for the Ascendant Spirit, because they can't level it up. But it still leaves me with no creatures, so this is actually still quite bad. <laughs> Alright. Well, okay. That could have gone worse. Could have gone better, could have gone worse. Uh, I think this is fine. All right, we'll get Hoggy Mob out there. Depending on if they make an attack or something, maybe we can squash and get them. I don't know. We'll see. I, I you know, I'm, that could have gone better. It could have gone way worse. <laughs> really thought that I'd be able to sneak some damage past them, but man, that demon bolt they've been sitting on for a while. What is this? I'm very, very suspicious. It's so, like they obviously have an answer to Hagi Mob, and this is putting me very dead. Oh. All right. Well. Um. Do this now before they untap. I forgot they had Battle of Frost and Fire. Wait, no, that was a different person. Darn these like four color snow. Play all your greed stuff. The other deck I was looking at. That's the deck that this deck is supposed to be punishing. And so far it's been going okay, but this is a this is a tough one. <sighs> okay, so I just need to do this for no no value, I guess. Because I gotta get a creature back. Oh, why did I play that land? Oh shoot. I got that backwards. I forgot that I draw my card and then I have to discard. I shouldn't have played that land. That was very, very silly of me. I'm gonna draw something useful here. Oh, that's gonna be a big problem. Well, not a big problem, but a problem. Oh, they discarded a way down. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, crap, yes, that would have been a, oh, shoot. Okay, so pro tip, remember to not do exactly what you just saw me do. Dang it. 
I got that backwards in my head. I was like, well, I'm going to have to discard anyway, so I m must make sure to play this land. I've been so good about holding it up until that point, too. Okay. Well, no guarantees we would have actually won the game there, but I at least would have gotten one more turn out of it and been able to bring something back from my yard. They probably just wouldn't have attacked, but rough. Okay. Okie dokie. Here we go. Let's play. Boy, that's, that's a toughie. I'm keeping it. That's real tough, but I think it's going to be important to hit a two drop and start slamming. And we have some, some of our powerful cards here. Opponent mulligan to six. All right. So I'm actually going to pitch Dusk Wielder here because I just want to get some of my more powerful action. Even though Dusk Wielder is a great thing to sack to Carter. Okay. Mostly I just need to accelerate to our fourth land as quickly as possible. Huh? That's a very, very good card. That's a great card to get you out of whatever scenario you might be in if you're on a Mulda 6. So one top, one bottom. Now they've got like eight cards in their hand. <laughs> but they can't do anything this turn because they didn't draw land there. Land! Oh no. Boy, we desperately needed to hit a fourth land on that turn. Okay. Um, all right. We're going to get the Necromancer out there and start applying more pressure, hopefully. This also means we have two snow lands, so potentially if we kill something, we can cast it with Draugr Necromancer, which would be pretty good. What's their Shimmer Drift Veil on? Red. Okay. So they... Did we see a Lindworm from this opponent? It's all been <laughs> blurring together. Oh. That's gross. That's gross. Okay. Um, shoot. Hmm. Oh, man, that was very bad. I mean, I guess it's good that it happened earlier in the game instead of, like, later when it was tantalizingly close to having them at, like, you know, three or something. Double top, one bottom. Gosh. They have drilled so far through their deck. Oh, that's very bad. So I think we're going to get back the Necromancer and then like awkwardly not cast it here is probably... No, we're going to cast it this turn. Are they going to get to do that? CMC 5 or greater? This would be a great turn for them to cast a Lindworm. So I'm really hoping that they don't this could be a struggle for Skemfar. There's a lot of things that could really get me pretty badly here. I don't I don't feel confident about my about my chances. Okay, well that doesn't kill my necromancer, so there's that. Oh gosh. This is so bad. How much is this to equip? It's only two mana to equip? Wow. Jeez, opponent. Could you not? How much have they seen of their deck so far? Double bottom? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this is so frightening. Well, that's not what I had to draw. I needed to draw something that was not run amuck. Um, guess I'm just going to do this now before they untap. They get to hit for seven. If I can draw land, I can play Bloodline Pretender and Squash. Oh, no. No, the dream is over, everybody. <laughs> the dream is so profoundly and totally over. Wow. Uh, what a what a sad way to end. Just staring at the cards in my hand, trying to figure out if there's any way out of this. And there definitely is not. The only game that's really gone quite... Jesus. <laughs> the only game that's really gone quite this badly, too. 
That's a shame. Ah, well. I will not be running that back, by the way. It's That's taken hours. So close. So close to the Day 2 qualifier. Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed watching, at least. And you can feel some small, <laughs> small amount of, of what I feel in these times. <sighs> oh, well. Hey, thanks for joining me, everybody. I, uh, like I said, doing this as a recording did help me focus, except that one turn that I potentially threw that match. Ooh, I'm going to be kicking myself about that for so long. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Hey, um, everything on this channel is brought to you by you and your support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. This was just like a bonus fun thing that I decided to do because I wanted to do the, the uh, open. But, you know, it behooves me to mention that if you're watching and you haven't seen it. Um, follow the channel. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Did you try this? How did you do? Let me know. Bye, everybody.